Hello everybody, my name is Mark Blair and welcome to Invitationum. Invitationum. Point at the wrong place, click at the wrong time. I don't know if that's intentional. The night is dark and the rain kept hitting the windshield of your car. An inexplicable breakdown forces you to stop and to keep going on foot. This is when you spot a few hundred years yards ahead, the glow of a strange forgotten house in the middle of the woods. Invitationim is a short horror game. It's an old school 2D point and click game created and designed independently and personally. Okay, cool. I'm down with that. Warning, some aspect of this game's contents may offend the sensibilities of young players and viewers. You've been advised. Some advise. This game is best played with headphones or earbuds and in low light. One second. That's about as low as my light can get at this moment. Maybe just that one. Okay. This game does not feature an inventory. Objects that are picked up during the game will be automatically used by clicking on the areas where they are required. Okay. Good to know. Creation 10542. 10542. October 1991, somewhere in France. Oh, damn it, please, not now. Okay, let's stay calm. The town isn't that far on foot. Where did I put my flashlight? I don't know. It's too dark outside. I need a flashlight. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Well, this is cool. Reminds me of all those point-and-click games from the past. Ex Mortis and all that. A few minutes later. Alright. Hmm. Those lights. Is that a house? They might have a phone. Yeah, you're probably right. But also, you probably wrong. There's no one there. Seems recent. Someone else with the same exact problem that I did? Well, thankfully they went first, so I don't have to die. If that's the case, the inhabitants are going to be pretty surprised to see me. Yeah. Okay. That's probably fine. That's no big deal. Dear God, what is... Who's screaming like that? I don't know, but this is sign number one that I should run away as fast as I can. Hi! Fuck, I don't know what that was, but... This is weird. Well, I hope someone can help me. I hear voices, so that's probably good. Creepy. Oh, God, no. Is this a joke? No! They were playing voices on a recorder? That's cruel. sound it came from the lobby right well if i never look it'll be fine hello uh i would turn around the the door oh where's the front door uh that's a good question it was right there i swear yeah me too buddy okay something's not right about this place there might be another exit somewhere in the house also, there's a key there. Thank you. Well, I don't understand how the door just... Blech. Yeah, me neither, pal. Um, doesn't even budge. It must be condemned. It's locked. I don't have the key to this door. Someone removed the photos from the frames, but why? It's not working. It's stuck at 3 a.m. The witching out. Who's there? Peekaboo! Oh god, hi. Okay, sorry, you were in the bathroom. I apologize. What was that? Okay, better not disturb the forces that haunt this place. You're, you're, uh... 
You're getting really accustomed to the weirdness pretty quick. Pictures of the local area, nothing weird. Okay, sure, for now. I used the key that I found in the lobby table. It's open now. Oh! Yeah, it's fine. This wardrobe is empty. It's locked down under the key to the safe. Strange. Seems attached to the floor. Interesting. Probably a way down. It's a private diary. Some pages have been torn out. Some sort of jewelry box. When I shake it, I can hear something inside. Ah! I know what that is. Interesting. Was that it? Was that it? I don't remember. I'll have to go back and see. That was it for... It was with that painting. It's weird. It's, uh... Ah, I did have it right. Okay. There must have been a button to press. Okay. Go! Why is this not going? I feel like that should be it. Why are there two... There are two sets of... There are two sets of heads. Oh, the shapes! Right, th there are shapes around it. I didn't even notice that. Okay, one second. Okay, circle, diamond, triangle. Got it! That's why there's multiple. Let's see, circle... Diamond... And... There we go. Key. But what? The chest? It's locked. Okay, so not that one. That's fine. Okay, but I do have a key. Hi, bathroom. I don't know why... Oh, well, I know why I always hate bathrooms in these games. It's because they're always haunted. There's always something. There's a key stuck in the drain. I can't reach it. I need a tool to get it out. Okay. I probably look awful. There are moist, half-torn clothes in the bathtub. They seem to belong to a man and a woman. Alright. Awfully presumptuous of you. They could belong to the same person, for all you know. It doesn't even budge. It must be condemned. Yeah, I like everything in this place. I used the key that I found in the jewelry box. It opens now. Oh, I hate this. Actually, I love this. This is great. Uh, you know, I'm going... Oh, God. Am I seeing something in the darkness there? Hang on. Nah. Seems to be an incense burner. The smell is weird. It's making me dizzy. The light bulb must have burned out. That's a trap. I don't even care if it's just a normal ass basement. That's a trap. <laughs> Alright. There should be a game that's just nothing but descending into dark basements. Because that is the scariest thing I've ever seen. In my entire life, there's nothing scarier than going down in a dark basement. In life, in a game, the second place is bathrooms. <sighs> Someone left prints on three of the alphabetical keys. Okay, three keys. It means there's only six possible combinations. By process of elimination, I should be able to find the right one. Okay. Oh! Yeah, die! Die! It said die! It's telling me to die. Dearest member of the host society, this invitation is to be handed over once you arrive at the temple. Be punctual. 152436. 152436. 125436. 152436. I believe that's important. Okay. 152436. I don't know why that's important, but I bet that's important. Some sort of display stand for a sword. The boat weapon is missing. 152436. He's giving me chills. He's so handsome. Ah, that's normal. There's some pliers in this jar along with this thing. 152436. The lid is sealed. There's only one way to get the tool. Well, that was harsh. Thanks. Oh my god! Fuck, you piece of shit! It seems stuck. It's not gonna let go. Well, I know a solution. I did break its home, so I guess this is entirely my fault. Fuse box seems intact, yet the basement is still dark. It's inexplicable. It can only be ghosts. I can see something massive prowling around the house? It's too dark outside to make what it is. Well, that's news to me! Kinda glad that the door is boarded up now. So I gotta get something to kill that? Alright, fine then. 
That's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to run that by me again? Who is doing that? There are enough weird sounds in the house already. I should leave it alone. Yeah. Okay. Don't even budge. Why? One five two four three six. Hello. I guess I forgot to check on the thing in the bathroom. That's yeah, probably nothing. Hi, it's me again. Okay, so that was not there. This dude is here. Such a tragic look. He had to be that ugly. The shadow that's prowling in front of the house. I can't stop thinking about that scream in the forest. I can. I forgot about it already. Uh, anything under the bed? Wardrobe is empty. There's a... No. Oh my god! I will punch you! I'm coming in to punch! Alright, Tiger Decap Pro. What does that mean? Chemical stripper? The label indicates high acidity. Well, that could kill a thing, definitely. There might be something under there. This house is making me paranoid. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're probably right about that. Cool. Well, I got a chemical stripper. I guess the whisper is gone now. Oh. Hi. I'm back again. I might be able to use the chemical stripper. Let's pray, pray it works. Oh, that's gotta be painful. That thing was at least somewhat alive. Frankly, it probably needed to die. Holy cow. Uh. Alright, well, mission accomplished. I'm gonna go venture forward. Uh-oh. What kind of bullshit is this? The door's closed. He doesn't fit anymore. Fuck, it's stuck. All right. Good. Great. Going. Oh, I'll kill you. I'm punching. Oh, fuck. No. Come on, move. I'm trapped. Ah! I'm alive. Shit. Huh. Where is it? What happened? Yeah, what did happen? I punched it into the next universe. That's what happened. Some jars, some rags, and what seems to be formaldehyde. Of course it is, and of course it do that. Well, I'm out of here now. You think you can get me with something like that? The answer is yes. The answer is very yes. Pliers should do the trick. Always does. Always does, everybody. Always do. That's one less problem. Yeah. Okay, pro. Well, that's different. Where did the room go? I don't know. The backside of the tapestry is covered in stains and mold. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Oh, this guy again. Still the same painting. This place is getting creepier by the minute. Am I even still in the house? Yeah, probably not. Oh, good. Ah, note. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this and not the giant butthole in the wall. Seems to be from the private diary. It begins in the middle of a sentence, and I remember it quite well. Winter had already covered the whole. Well, the wind was blowing through the top of the great pine trees. I was pacing up and down, bathed in the soft light of the fireplace. The warm color was contrasting with the sapphire tones of the drapes. The choice I made that night opened me to me all the doors that had remained closed until then. That's all. I might have something to do with this colored door. Okay, wait, let me try that again. And I remember a winter at only a great snowy cloak. White? When but great pine trees. Green, white green. The soft light of the fireplace, like red or orange. And sapphire tones, whatever said blue, I think. White, green, red, blue. Well, that's easy. Okay, white, green, red, blue. Oh, white, green, red, blue. What's with the butthole? Oh man, I'm gonna be sick. Seems alive. I got any more of that chemical stripper? Because that is no good. Yeah, must be close by. Okay, white, green, red, blue. I did it, the door is unlocked. Well, I guess I'll mosey. 
The television is picking up the image of a corridor. Wait, it's the one I went through. Oh no. No! No! I see you, Shadow. Ah, I see it was your Shadow. Well, that's a problem. Shit! Okay. It has to be the same corridor. Those things are waiting for me outside. Well. Time for... Time for a last stand, I guess. Oh. Uh, whoa. Okay. Right. Anyway, I got a key, I think. I used the key that I found in the sink's drain. It's open now. One, five, two, four, three, six. Ugh. Okay. Cool. Well, shit. Let's hope there's some sort of secret exit. Yeah, let's hope. Oh! Up. Uh, no. Down. Go. Oh. Here we go, then. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Oh. Sorry, I had a delayed flashlight. Literally, this looks like the altar room from Amnesia the Dark Descent. I'm getting, like, crazy flashbacks. It's like some sort of altar. Uh-oh. Damn it, the light, so soon? Uh-oh. Oh, good! I mean, you already trapped me in the house, I don't know how much more trapped I can be. Good evening. You are right on time. Who's there? Who's talking? Oh, hi. How are you? What? Where do you- Please, remain calm. We, we understand, understand that it must have been a stressful evening for you. Do not be afraid. It will all be over soon. Will it? You're, you're the ones responsible for all those twisted things. We merely are the voices that call upon the headhunter. Every four years we gather to present three offerings to the great hunter. It is required for the hunter to grant our family safety and prosperity. Boy, I'm sure glad that you're explaining this all to me so I can definitely go and tell someone about it. Listen, I don't have anything to do with any of this. And yet here you stand, answering the invitation of our benefactor. For it is known that the self-offerings will present themselves to us, guided on the path by the dark children of the hunter. You must submit them. The creatures have to be quite creative to slow you down enough. Indeed, they first do require some preparation time. What do you mean, the first two? My dearest members of the host society, the time has come. Free the altar. Or don't. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, I guess we'll just never know who that bowl is for. Uh oh. I think we're about to know. Yeah, just shut it all down. It's totally fine. You know, pretty easy to, uh... Get someone trapped when you have the magical capabilities of sealing up doors at will and sending them into shadow dimensions and summoning wall buttholes at will. Must be pretty great. Anyway, I love that. I love this style of game. I really do. Whoa. You'll find random events, investigate them all in the same game in a see. Oh! Hell yeah! I'll do that! I'll go through it again!
screw that and screw you. I'll do it again. Hell yeah. I wish there was a tracker though as I was doing it so I knew which ones. I'll just count as I go. That's what I'll do. This is really good. It's it's kind of an interesting way to make games too because it's like it's simplistic in its execution but obviously you needed to make the environment, the design of it had to be done and implemented correctly. And that takes like effort but also, it's just like a very cohesive experience, and I like that about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try that again. I'm going to turn on my light. I'm back. Hello, it's me. I'm going to do that again, and I'm going to see if I can get this secret ending, because I love this stuff. I love it. Okay. I just got through it all. There's one spot where I think I might have fucked it up. But I don't know, I'm gonna see. Because I clicked on literally everything. I even backtracked multiple times going to different areas that I had already been to again and again and again just to see what it was. And I'm like, there was one moment where I tried something a little different in the basement where I didn't click on the door as much and I'm just really open. it's not gonna count that. Because honestly, there's nothing else here. I went through this with fine tooth comb. The smallest tooth of comb I could. Ah! Oh! Congratulations, you have investigated every element in the game during your playthrough. Next time, stand in front of the condemned door in your house and type the following word, happy. Okay, then. I'll do exactly that. I don't know what this is. I don't even know if this is going to be worth it. I put in a lot of work just to get this, so I, I'm kind of riding on this being a good thing. Kind of banking on it being fun and adventurous for me. All right, I guess I got to sit through this again. Okay, came from the lobby, right? And three, two, one. The 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 door. All right, hang on. Happy. Is that music? Such rhythm. It's coming from upstairs. <laughs> Such rhythm. Oh. Oh, is anyone there? I love that. <laughs> that was very worth it. This note is for you. Well done. You finished my game. Several playthroughs might have been necessary for, to reach full completion. You took time to unlock this off-topic ending. Developing a game, even a small one, is a path that, when walked alone, requires a great deal of patience. Invitationum is my first experience of the kind, and making it has been like directing a short film with lines of code. And just as a movie is made to be seen, a game is meant to be played. Use some of your own time to play and finish one of my creations in its entirety. For that, you have my warmest thanks. Please take good care of yourself, whoever you are. Julian Bartholini. Well, thank you very much, Julian. I really appreciate it. That was a great experience. I had a good time with that, and I hope you did too. Link is in the description. If you want to make more of these types of games, definitely go for it, because you do have an act for it, and this was quite good. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Check out more scary games that I've got linked in the description below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!